So for many of you out there, you have your exams coming up in two, three, four weeks. And today I want to talk about overcoming that math anxiety, that fear of the maths exam as you step into the exam hall. And I'm gonna go through my three top tips to really overcome that math anxiety, and make sure that you feel ready psychologically for the exams to come. Number one is to just acknowledge that fear. And I want to quote one of my favorite people. I am a Star Trek fan and I've been watching Star Trek Picard. And he came up with a really, really good quote in the very last episode that I've just put on the screen here in front of you. And I just want to talk about that fear makes you smart. I think that's a really nice quote. And it really means that you care. It really means that you care about the exams you're about to do. And it really means that you understand the risks involved. And even though it feels like a judgment on you as a person, it isn't. It's just one exam, one very small snapshot of your entire mathematical career. And it's just a way of identifying where you are at that particular moment in time. So acknowledge that fear. Just be aware that it does exist and it's all about mitigating that particular fear. Now, number two is how can we actually make that fear a little bit less? And the first way is to practice maths daily. Now, I've done a lot of the hard work for you here if you're doing the IGCSE course as I put together these exam PowerPoints with real IGCSE questions practicing one specific topic. You'll see a link in that description below. And by doing that every day, you're reducing that little bit of fear every, every day. And it has a very good cumulative effect. So when you come to those real exams in two, three, four weeks, you'll feel much more comfortable. And my last point, number three, is to ask questions. And this is one of the reasons I actually set up the YouTube channel many years ago in the first place, to give students all across the world the opportunity to actually ask me questions about their IGCXC exams, their IB exams, their A-level exams, and to really get that really helpful professional advice. And again, please use those comments below, post any questions you've got about the IGCSEs, IB, or the A-level exams, and I'll do my best to help. And if I can't help directly, then I'll refer you to somewhere where you can actually get the professional help that you're looking for as well. So please do use this opportunity to ask questions. That will really help mitigate some of that exam fear. So those are my three top tips to overcome that math anxiety, that real butterflies in the stomach feeling. As for many of you out there, particularly with the disruption by COVID, this might be your first set of real exams that you've had. So please let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Again, there'll be many videos on the channel before the exams in two, three, four weeks time. And if I can answer any of those burning questions that you've got at this point, then please do let me know. If you're looking for the Easter revision and what to actually do over the next two, three weeks, then please do check out the video where I go through my way of revising over the Easter break.